there are four commands that you can use to insert spaces between lines in LaTeX. The first one is small skip. So this inserts a small gap between two lines. The second one is med skip, which stands for medium skip. This inserts a slightly larger gap. And the third one is big skip. So this inserts a much larger gap than the other two commands. Now, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have to start a new line after your skip command. So this, so here is my big skip command and here's my new line, line 30 after the big skip command. So if you don't start a new line, LaTeX would not insert a skip or LaTeX would not insert a gap between these two lines. So to tell LaTeX that you want a gap between these two lines, you first type whatever skip command you want, and then you start a new line. And then when you hit compile, LaTeX would insert a space between these two lines. You can also use the skip commands to add spaces between equations. So I'm going to just enter these commands here, medium skip and big skip. And when I hit compile, LaTeX would introduce spaces here. Yes. Now notice how you don't need to start new lines after your skip commands when you're trying to insert spaces between equations. So that starting a new line business only applies when you're trying to, you know, insert gaps between text. The fourth command that you can use to insert spaces is called vspace. So you type backslash vspace and then you use a set of curly braces and you type in how much vertical space you want between these two paragraphs. Yeah, so LaTeX just inserted 10 centimeters of vertical space between these two paragraphs. I could have also inserted, uh, I don't know, click two inches of vertical space if I wanted. Or this could have also been two millimeters. LaTeX understands a lot of units, so you can use whatever units you're comfortable with. Now notice how before the first word of every paragraph, LaTeX has inserted a bit of horizontal space. So this horizontal space is called indentation and you can remove this horizontal space by typing in the preamble of your document, set length, and then par indent, par indent, and then typing 0pt. And when you hit compile, LaTeX will remove this horizontal indentation. There we go. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And as always, I'll leave a link down in the description to this project.